So now, I'm going to be telling you guys uh, the second of my tales about Tom Hassenfeld, the greatest entrepreneur the world has ever seen. Um, hi, I'm Chris again. Uh, again, it's not my last name. Connor is my last name. So I'm Chris Connor. But, um, yeah, Kate, think, Kate thinks that's funny. So hopefully the audience does too. This one is called Swirl Lab, uh, for reasons that will become obvious very soon. Anyways. Hey, before you start. Yes. Is there any of that Pop-Tart left? There is. Do you want some? Yes. Okay. That's why I asked. There you go. Oh my god, this is Have great. some Pop-Tart. Oh my god, I have a Pop-Tart. Okay, Kate has a Pop-Tart. Anyways, now we will begin. Uh, seems similar to the one you saw previously, uh, Shark Tank sort of sort of setup. Uh, Tom is is in the room. He's 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 increasingly disheveled um, as 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 he is. He's he's obviously lost his sanity even more than last time, which means he has uh, about as much sanity left as I do, uh, which is, is precisely none. Uh, anyways, Tom says, "Hello, sharks." It's a pleasure to be back with you all again. I've returned with another amazing product idea. Tom shows his poster again. This time, uh, instead of instead of the shittily drawn box, you see uh, a picture of an equation that has a soft serve ice cream cone, uh, swirl flavored, uh, chocolate swirl, uh, added to the picture of a dog. Uh, and then finally, an equal sign, he just says profit in big letters. Uh, Tom goes, Swirl Labs. You know how they have chocolate labs and yellow labs? This one would be a combination of those two types of dogs, and it would be a chocolate swirl lab. Another amazing idea, obviously. Um, Tom, Tom's great. Anyways, uh, you know, Tom, Tom's, Tom, Tom starts talking about how everyone loves chocolate swirl ice cream. Uh, like it's, it's verifiably the best of the three standard flavors of soft serve. Um, and he says, he says, imagine, imagine that this, this chocolate swirl ice cream that I have is, is a dog. Because everyone also likes dogs. And he's like, there's no way we don't make money off of this idea. And, and the first shark, whose name may or may not be Georgia O'Keefe, <laughs> says, look, I don't mean to sound offensive or anything, but this idea sounds kind of really stupid. I mean, it's like it, it, it's just a new dog breed, right? It's not like it's not like an actual invention, which is, I guess, like what we're trying to get here, right? And Tom's like, "All right, look, you don't seem to get it. Let me lay it out for you." And he kind of gestures at his poster, like this, <laughs> and he goes, "Swirl ice cream plus dog equals profit." See, it's simple, foolproof. And shark, another shark, whose name may or may not be Tim Jones. <laughs> How did I know that was coming? Hey, I love Tim Jones. I'm president of the Tim Jones fan club. I thought, oh, can I be vice president? I think that position's already been filled. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure though. Anyways, getting back to the story, mm. uh, Shark Two, uh, Tim Jones, maybe, says, um, yeah, I, I don't think this idea is gonna work so well. Um, uh, is it even possible to get their coats looking like that? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not how breeding works. I'm an electrical engineer. I don't know. Um, uh, biology. Uh, Tom goes, look, no, it's, it, it, look, it's, it's fine. It's going to be fine. Listen, I'm going to tell you about how this idea is going to work. Uh, number one, first point, dogs, dogs. Doges, doggos, are super cute and awesome. 
So first point in this idea's favor. Number two, everyone likes ice cream. Even people with dairy allergies who can't eat ice cream wish they could eat ice cream because ice cream is awesome. And surely there must be a demand for a dog that looks like an ice cream. It's just logical. Also, number th point number three, point th three. <clears throat> Imagine the peripheral sales we'll get from selling cone ho costumes for Halloween for dogs. Like, like imagine like a dog with like a cone just on its butt and it looks like a chocolate swirl ice cream with a cone on its butt. I would buy one. You would buy one. If you're honest with yourself, you would buy one too. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that, no, honestly? Uh, fourth point, fourth point, fourth point. We can make dogs in like different sizes and then market them as ice cream size. Like you could have a kitty cone size and then and then you could all go all the way up to like a giant fucking gigantic dog. Like fucking huge dog and call it a waffle cone size dog. <laughs> right? Right? This this product sells itself. <laughs> the marketing material writes itself. And and, and, and and Shark One, whose name I think I said with Georgia O'Keefe, is probably Georgia O'Keefe. I let's let's be honest. Uh it says it says it says Tom I I think maybe I think maybe you've been hitting the the old the old liquor a little hard. And maybe you should lay off. <coughs> I burped. Um and you know what? You know what Tom says? Tom, Tom, once again, gets right up, right up in the shark's face, and he goes, uh, uh, Never. And that's it. That's the filming. That's it. <laughs> that's it. I'm just going to... I finished my beer. I did it. We did it! We filmed Drunk Kilroy! <laughs>